Hey there, YouTube. It's your favorite tree climber here, Treetop Piper, coming at you. Received a, a package today from Smoking Pipes. I placed an order the other evening. I ordered a tin of Dunhill Navy Rolls. You know, it's a shame that they don't say deluxe Navy Rolls like they used to back in the day. It really is a shame that they... Uh, they just say Dunhill Navy Rolls now. But anyway, also I ordered a 100 gram tin of Marlin Flake. Rat Rays Marlin Flake to give that a try. I'm thinking I'd like to do a first impression on this Marlin Flake. It says... Marlin Flake combines dark Virginias, black Cavendish, as well as a pinch of Perique. Cutting its flake. By Chaz Ratray. These are pretty trippy tins here. Ah, uh, here we go. Full dark Virginia flake, ready rubbed. Uh, I thought it just came as a flake. If it's ready rubbed, that that's kind of be. That's going to kind of suck. Here we go. Oh, no, that's not ready rubbed. What are they talking about? Mm. Mm. That's so dark. Deep and dark. That's how that tape that's how that smells to me. Deep and dark. Like can you see that? Mm, look how dark that is. It's just and it comes in like a roll. That's so cool how that comes. I actually this is my first rat ray blend I've ever messed with. And I just think these little tins they put them in, these, these cute little, they're like tall, little, uh, regular size 50 gram tins. But here, as you can see, it's like a roll. Yeah, you can see that perfectly. Let me unfurl this bad boy you basically get some long ass flakes yeah that that those are some long flakes right there <laughs> look at that thing holy crap that's so cool And look how that holds together. That is a well-made flake, my friend. That's what they do. They just kind of roll it up. But I'll show you here what this guy looks like, what kind of stuff we're dealing with here. It looks like we got some reds, some dark, matured, pressed Virginias. And it looks gorgeous from the side. You can see the leaf. You can almost see how the leaves, are, the leaves are from the side like that. But back in it goes. I'm thinking, shoot, we don't need all that. And then we'll do a bit of rubbing out here. This dirt near feels just about ready. 
just about right. Fine, fine, fine. Well made tobaccos here. You know, I swear. There are so many excellent tobacco names out there. That just, okay, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty wet. I better let that dry for a bit. There are just so many excellent tobaccos out there. It's just, you know, there's no reason why anybody should get hung up on any one type of tobacco or one particular company, you know, um, there are just so many other good alternatives. Now let me get a whiff of this real quick. Man, it's it's just I'm getting dark chocolate, chocolate covered raisins. That's absolutely what I'm getting. Dark chocolate covered raisins. Looking forward to giving this a shot. Looks really good. Smells really good. Presentation is on point. Those are pretty little tins. Also, I don't know if anybody and if if any of you guys noticed, but Esoterica has been dropping like rain. It's been like raining Esoterica the last couple days or the last day or two. So, if you've been missing out, now's the time to start looking. Now's the time to start hound dogging it. But anyway, I'll be right back, guys, as soon as this is dried out and ready to rock. Mm. So, you got this bad boy lit up. Right off the bat, I'm digging it. Got a really nice flavor right off the bat. Um, slightly moist out of the tin. Five minutes or so to dry. Packed easily. <sighs> nice fine cut. You know, when you rub it out, it comes out to a nice fine. I wouldn't say shag cut because it's not very long. You know, it doesn't have long strands, but smoking good. You know, sometimes the smoke just burns well from the top all the way to the bottom. And so far, this is burning well at the top. Hmm. Getting a little spiciness. peppery. You can taste the dash of freak. Not overpowering at all, though. You can see the little flecks of black in it for the, for the Cavendish. Seems to be lending a, a slight sweetness to the smoke. Quite lovely.
for me, this will do the trick for when I'm feeling kind of Virginia, when I'm feeling like a Virginia. It has a nice kind of tangy tobacco flavor. Not super strong. Got it. There's a tang to the retro hail. Starts off nice. We'll have to wait to see how it progresses down the bowl, but starts off nice and it says on the bottom I forgot to read that it says rat trays marlin flake pipe tobacco 100 grams full dark Virginia flake ready rubbed even though it's not ready rubbed it's a flake it's burning nice and evenly No bite. It's a good good tobacco. I'm digging it. This is one that I, I, I could see myself having on hand. Maybe buying a pound of it next time instead of just a little 100 gram tin. And what's crazy is the 100 gram tin cost as much as the damn 10 50 gram tin of navy rolls it was 30 bucks for both of these it's crazy mm. i would have no qualms about picking up a pound of that You know, it is quite satisfying. I could see this being an all-day smoke. Like something I take smoke in the truck, cruising around. Smoking at the house. Just chilling. Has a nice consistent flavor, it seems like tangy spicy but it's got a nice tasty flavor which if you're like me makes you run hot makes you burn hot because I'm like Berg when I like a tasty Virginia I can't help myself I just keep 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 chooching anyway I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down to the nitty gritty and I'll come back and uh, tell you guys a conclusion. Okay, right down here at the nitty gritty of this pipe. No doubt about it guys, that Cole House and Cop company that makes Rat Rays and McConnell's, top quality stuff, really is. I mean, this is just burned so nicely. Um, I was using the phone for a few minutes and I just kind of forgot about it. It just burned great, didn't burn, didn't bite me. Um, Smokes pretty dry. Didn't need hardly any relights. Um, they make some top quality stuff. They really do. The McConnells, the Rat Rays. You can't go wrong with a lot of their stuff. This Marlin Flake. Definitely be getting more of this. I'll definitely be getting more of it. Toss it in the cellar and see how it does after a, after a year or two. The Perique subsides after about the first quarter, first third, and then you start getting into a more mellow, sweet Virginia flavor. Um, the tanginess subsides a little bit, and then it, and I could taste, and I, now I can taste the Cavendish more or less, whereas before it was more Perique and Virginia. Now it's like Virginia Cavendish. It's actually quite a mellow blend too. 
mellowed out pretty nicely towards the end. I'm quite surprised about that. Because um, it came off a little pungent at first, a little punchy. Um, and it's kind of mellowed uh, throughout the bowl. I think this will be a go-to Virginia for me, for sure. Um, it's cheap, easy to get. 15 bucks for 100 grams. You can't beat that. Um, it's easy to get when it's around. It's not always around, but when it is, everybody has it, so you can get it. Nice volume of smoke. Um, got a decent little room note. Decent amount of body. Real smooth. Um, towards the end especially. It's got a decent neck hit. Like I said, it doesn't need hardly much for lighting. I only let it dry a few minutes, too. Top quality tobacco, though. I would I would say, um, I would give this like a three to a three and a half out of four stars. I mean, this is up there. Hmm. A little bit more tobacco-y flavor. It's not as sweet as some of the esoteric of Virginia's. You get a little bit more of a more of a natural tobacco-y sweetness out of it. And there is a slight bit of tang that really holds my attention. All in all, this is definitely a tobacco I would recommend to you guys. Um, and, and like I said, this is made by the same company that does Robert McConnell, the Cole House and Kopf. Uh, they're a German company. They do really good tobacco. Um, you know, the trick, I mean, if most of us know the kind of stuff we like. And they have so many different blends, the Rat Rays, the McConnells, that you should be able to find something right up your alley. And I knew Rat Rays was a good company. People stockpile it and stuff, so I knew. And this is supposed to be the flake companion to um, Old Gowrie, the Marlin Flake. Old Gowrie is a, a ready rub, whereas this is a flake. So, um, they're companion blends, and I know Old Gowrie is super popular. People stockpile the shit out of that. Mm. Very tasty. This is a tasty, tasty blend. I could see myself smoking this outdoors. Um, you know, go for a hike with this or, or doing work out in the yard. Um, super well behaved. I'm, I'm really impressed with this, actually. The mechanics are easy. It hasn't burned hot at all. At all. Um, I haven't had to set it down. It's burned clean straight through. I hardly even had to tamp it. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this tobacco. I really am. This is a top, top, top notch tobacco. and It is worth every penny. Um, I am looking forward to trying the Sterling Flake and the Marlin Flake. Or the uh, Wallace Flake. They have some other, they have another line of, or they have a whole line of flakes. And this one, I just want to smoke this down to the nothing, to the nitty gritty. No joke. This is a nitty gritty smoke right here. This is one where I, you know, this is, this reminds me of like the Germains and the Smoker's Haven blends where I just smoke it right down to the nothing. Right down to the nit grit.
Mm. By the way, this week I was able to secure some really rare new Germains blends, the BK Flake and the Bridge Old Brown Flake. So I'll be doing some reviews on those, some first impressions, which there are none on the internet. There's none on tobacco reviews, none on YouTube. So I'll be the first one, hopefully. So it should be a big, big week this week later on. And I'll, and I'll do a first impression of Dunhill Navy Rolls. I haven't had a Dunhill Navy Roll in th two, three, four years. So it, it really is more or less a first impression. So, But anyway, this uh, blend, guys, if you haven't tried any of the Rat Rays blend, this is a good place to start for sure. Just a most excellent blend. Um, but anyway, um, it's been quite a long uh, first impression. I'd like to let you guys go. I hope you all have, are having a good work week and uh, keep your eyes out for the esoterica because it's dropping. But uh, until next time, guys, Treetop Piper over and out.